Hello and welcome to the EMP Tech Group. Back out in the shop. Back out in the shop with Tech Tips with Rich. That's kind of taken a life of its own, so we're uh, going to keep that series going. And uh, this was actually your idea, Rich, and that was to talk about uh, label and ribbon matching. Matching thermal ribbons to the, to the labels and getting them to print properly. And something you struggle with with customers and trying to help them figure out. So... We thought we would uh, talk a little bit about that today, and we thought we would do that in front of our cabinets of labels and ribbons that we keep in the shop, uh, and really just for samples. Uh, some of them are customer uh, labels that we'll run for them periodically, but, but a lot of these are just for testing. Uh, the customer will send us their labels and we'll test ribbons with them or vice versa. Right. Uh, so that's what we wanted to talk about today, and let's start with... The easy stuff. Let's start down over here is uh, paper labels and direct thermal and thermal transfer. And direct thermal is easy. You load direct thermal labels in a printer. There is no ribbon. You print directly on the the label itself. Right. Uh, there's a couple downsides to that. One is that the print head won't last as long, and two, the print won't last long. So if you right. take that label and you put it outdoors or you put it in you know with age or with heat and, and, and sunlight it'll it'll fade over time right. so sometimes a customer needs thermal transfer so that's what we're here to talk about is thermal transfer if you buy zebra labels from us um, those labels have already got a ribbon figured out and matched up to them so you buy a z extreme or a z ultimate label there's already a ribbon match but if you get labels from our plant here in central indiana or from one of the other sources we use we've got to help figure out right. a match. Or we go in and a customer already has labels and says, I need a ribbon that works with them. A lot of reasons why we have to match up labels and ribbons together, right? So uh, DNP is the majority of the, the ribbons that we sell outside of Zebra ribbons. So this is all of our DNP mm -hmm. um, samples. And then there's some charts that say, hey, for a synthetic material, polypropylene, polyolefin, uh, vinyl, all kinds of different label materials, polyester, Kimdura. Uh, here's the ribbon that should work with it, right. but not necessarily. Uh, so that's where you would come throw some things in a printer out here and right. tell, tell me how that typically works. Mm -hmm. Do you have to try two or three different ones or what's that? Yeah, well, first of all, I'm also the service coordinator and I'll send people out to fix print quality issues. Okay. And we will really try to fix darkness and speed and all that, but it still doesn't look right. And I'll recommend, hey, did we check to see if we had the right ribbon? Yeah. So they'll send us a sample of their labels. We'll take them back here, and I'll go to the chart and pick out about two or three different ribbons that may work. And I'll take them over to our printers, and I just start doing some samples. And some of them don't look real well, but one of them is going to really click, look really, really good. And that's what I'm going to tell the customer, hey, this is what goes with your labels. And also you got to adjust speed darkness, uh, all right. kinds of other things right. on the printer. Because sometimes you'll put a ribbon in and it doesn't work right, but you got to turn the heat up to 30 and then all of a sudden... Right. Yeah. So we wanted that a good darkness, a good speed, yeah. all of that to come together to make a label. The other point I wanted to make, and we're going to probably, is you want that ribbon to be the same width as your labels. Because if not, that'll cause something called ribbon wrinkle if you've ever seen a squiggly line through your label. It, it, it more... I tell you, people don't usually cheap out on that. They usually do the opposite. I got a four-inch wide ribbon, and I just want to use that wide ribbon with every label. Right. So I got a one-inch wide label with a four-inch wide ribbon. That's where you get into the trouble. Right. You really need to match those sizes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That makes all kinds of sense. So let, let's break down ribbons. Wax on one end, right? Resin, full resin on the other end. And then there's these wax resin blends, right? All these different formulations. So if it's a paper label... A wax ribbon almost always works, um, but sometimes you'll get scratching. People don't want that print to scratch off of that label, right. so you'll go. There's something called resin enhanced wax that's got just a little bit of resin just to harden it up, or you might go to a blend of, of more of a 50/50 resin wax blend uh, to print on that paper if the customer's label is you know is sensitive to scratching or, right. or yep. any kind of flaking. Yeah, but then when you get to polyester and when you get to uh, some of these, you know, more durable synthetic uh, materials, you got to go full resin. But even with that, there's three or four different formulas right. of full resin, so you got to try that. Yeah. Yep. Cool. Well, bottom line is, it's complicated. The simplest of things, hey, it's just a label, it's just a ribbon. It can be complicated. You got to have the right material, you got to have the printer settings all done right, and that's where we're here to help. That's where Rich and uh, the team can uh, really yep. shine. EMPTechGroup.com. Always the best place to reach us.
Thanks for your time.